First up, good news and bad news for drivers who travel along I-25 near Cimarron. Yeah, major construction officially started today, so expect delays. In the end, there will be more room on the often congested Cimarron corridor. So here's what you can expect. Reconstruction of the I-25 interchange between Colorado Avenue to the north and the Nevada Tejon interchange to the south. It also expands 8th Street to the west and the Cimarron Bridge over Fountain Creek to the east. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is at the interchange tracking the impact to communities outside Colorado Springs. Scott? Well, guys, it's going to be, it won't be, I should say, until late 2017 before we see the complete results of the work that's going to be going on here. And earlier today, we spoke with two community leaders about what they expect from now until this project is finished. Nearly everyone's singing the praises of the I-25 Cimarron Interchange Project. It's still a long way from groundbreaking to completion, but the city and CDOT are relieved to finally have the funding and get the project started. But also to the west, through Manitou Springs, you pass through Willen Park and on to the ski towns. But there are still concerns and uncertainties about how the two and a half years of construction will affect those communities to the west. We have a lot of folks in Manitou that work and play in Colorado Springs, and this is the main road to get in and out. And uh, I worry sometimes that that congestion on Highway 24 and the backups even here on Highway 25 maybe dissuade some folks from coming out and visiting us. The project is designed to ease that congestion and improve trails in the area. A Taylor County Commissioner says those future benefits are worth some inconvenience for a while. We uh, have, have lots to offer up, up in Teller County, Woodland Park, Cripple Creek and Victor, our three municipalities in Teller County, and we, uh, we'd like to see uh, more motorists uh, head that direction. CDOT guarantees the project will help make that happen. And today, during the groundbreaking ceremony, the project's contractor says workers will be on a tight schedule to meet that completion deadline, and drivers won't see direct impacts on traffic until next spring. We're live in the Springs tonight. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.